demonstrate Newton's first law of motion, which is an object will remain in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced hence external flow of force. I think I pronounced that wrong. So, as you can see, this kind of snowball is not moving because it's just sitting there. I've, nothing's making it move, the wind's not moving. Yeah, I'm just pulling at my sister, and it hit her, because if it would have not hit something, then it would have kept going and going and going until it hit something. But since my, my sister was there, it stopped and got hit. hit. Well, it hit her, so which caused it to stop. Which my sister was the unbalanced force person. And uh, I was supposed to make it move. You stop it. No. Bye. I'm Tola, and I'm, I'm going to demonstrate Newton's second law. Huh. Now, Newton's second law is, is the acceleration of an object produced by a, a total applied force is directly related to the magnitude of the force, the same direction of the force, and inversely related to the mass of an object. So, oh, I'm the force, and I'm going to be pushing my dad's car. I'm going to be pushing my dad's car, and hopefully it won't move. And not, I'm not faking. <coughs> I'm the force, and I have not much mass, although this weighs about, who knows how much, so it has a lot of mass. Now, when my dad and I do it, it hopefully, see, it's going to seem to move. So as you can see, my dad and I were the force and we managed to push the car because we had more force than before. Okay, bye! And, and I'm demonstrating the third law for New Newton's third law and I'm using the scooter because it's part of the demonstration. And the third law is, the third law says that, that for every force there is an equal and opposite reaction. Like, take the scooter, for example. Well, in, in order for it to go, well, I push off back and the scooter moves forward. And I'm going to do it again. So my hey, foot pushes back and the scooter moves forward. So that right there is an example of Newton's third law.